Okay, so we've got another trophy list review for you today, and this time it's Kalel or Kalil 2099. Mate, you'll have to tell me which way it's pronounced, or maybe even if I didn't get it right on either attempt, but let me know how it's pronounced. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for this one, 106 Platinums. I can already see one absolutely phenomenal Platinum, at least in terms of the low percentage. I've made a couple of adjustments due to um, some advisories by uh, comments on previous videos and i completely agree so i've added the extension for ps plus i've added an extension for the ad blocker although i don't think it is fully working but let's get straight into it 106 platinums on this one um in alphabetical order as it always is just quickly if my voice does go at any point or if my voice cracks it's because i have been ill i completely lost my voice i am kind of on the mend now i'm not 100 percent but let's get into it. I don't care. Even if I sound like a little girl, I'm still going to keep going. So, at top, Assassin's Creed 2. Banger of a game. 33.71% of people have got it. So, 1 in 3. It's a 3 out of 10. 20 hours. Mate, that, that's beautiful. I, I like it. I like having that there. It's going to help me massively. Um, then, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Assassin's Creed Origins. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. 3 out of 10, 3 out of 10, 4 out of 10, but a lot of hours going to them. Um, and I mean, I'm going to take a wild guess. Uh, obviously, this is just off the A's at the moment, but uh, DLCs doesn't look like you're too interested in them. I I'm not myself. If, if a game has DLC uh, and I don't absolutely love the game, I won't bother with it. Like, you know, especially with some, some DLCs these days, it's like half the price of a full game, but you only get a couple of hours extra gameplay. Forget that. G give me something like, you know, Elden Ring, where it's like, you know, a, a massive part of the game. Then that's DLC that I'll be interested in. But otherwise, meh. Um, okay, so Batman Arkham Asylum. Batman Arkham Asylum again. Two Arkham Cities. Only the one Arkham Knight. Come on, mate, you're slacking. Double stacked the other two, but not this one. I'm only joking. These are some impressive Platinums. Um, I've never done any of the Batmans. Uh, and the reason why I've never done any of the Batmans is because 6 out of 10, 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10. And, you know, yeah, these are only 20 hours, but 60 hours for these? Christ. Rather you than me. Um, and then we go into Battlefield 5. Nice. I, I'm, I love Battlefield. 2042, 2024, whichever the, the latest one was. That one can suck an egg. That one was terrible. I, I actually enjoyed the beta. Believe it or not, I actually enjoyed the beta. Then I brought the game and I was like, what is this tripe? Um, but yeah, you've got Battlefield 5, only 4.89%, so nice. Um, ben 10, Power Trip. Okay. Bloodborne, nice. 21.81 percent uh, you've actually done the dlc on that one so fair play um but what why does that have to be so high that that is a platinum that i i am going to attempt at some point in the future it's the only souls game that i haven't really given a lot of time to so far um I, i've not i've not platinumed any of them but Bloodborne is the only one of all of them that I haven't played for, like, say, more than an hour. I think I turned it on, played it for an hour, and I was like, uh, uh, because I wasn't into Souls games back in the day. Things change. Um, but nice, fair play on that one. Um, then we got Carto. No idea. Uh, quite a high percentage. Uh, only 19 trophies, so I'm going to... I'm guessing that might be a PS Plus title or something. Uh, chorus nice only 20.6 percent on that one and then we got dark souls one and three where's dark souls two mate i mean I i'm not cussing you for that you've got these two and bloodborne which is more than i'll ever get but you, you got one and three where's two is is too harder or i, I don't know um, and then we've got Dave the Diver, which I believe is your most recent Platinum, because I did see it at the top of the, the uh, page. Um, Days Gone. 
Always give love to Days Gone. No ifs or buts about it. When that game first came out, I was all for it. Loads of other people were saying how terrible it was. And it was, was crap and whatnot. Getting so much unnecessary hate. And I was like, nah, mate. This is awesome. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is really going. Um, then we got Death's Door. Nice. That's one that I've tried. I, um, I did see, I think it was when it came on to PS Plus. Um, I saw the guide and it was like, oh, you know, two playthroughs or do one playthrough with the umbrella weapon. I believe that's the game. And I put the umbrella weapon on and proceeded to die 60 ish times. And I was like, nope, skill issue. Uh, deliver us the moon. Nice. I've told the story about that one numerous times. I, I, brilliant story beautiful game as soon as i'd finished the story i just got bored i just couldn't be bothered to go back and do the trophies i probably will at some point because you know it's on my account and it's just screaming at me in the face like complete me um but yeah uh, then we've got demon slayer yep not going to attempt the name i think i did on an earlier uh, trophy list and completely butchered it but nice on that one 18.28 percent then we've got Dirt 5. Look at that. 60%. You've got the Platinum. 40% DLC. Blech. Disgusting. Not not you. Obviously the DLC. Um, Distraint. Never heard of that one. But 88.34%. Okay. Um, Divine Knockout. Nice. 11.55%. Um, Very nice. Uh, Dodgeball Academia, another one that I've been looking at a lot recently. Um, quite a high percentage though, to be fair. And I'm surprised, there is, I'm pretty sure there's a guide for it. So why is it not showing on, on here? God knows. Um, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, nice. I'm seeing a lot, of, uh, a lot of the kind of games that I like. I've never played this, but I like Dragon Ball. I don't like Dragon Ball in the way that... Uh, you know, I used to watch it every single day because I didn't. But I do like Dragon Ball in the sense of, you know, Goku is awesome, but Vegeta's better. Sorry, just saying. Vegeta's my guy. Um, Yeah, I've just lost about 70 subscribers properly. <laughs> uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, twice, PS5 and PS4. Uh, not auto-popped, love to see it. Uh, Evil West, nice. I can't get into it. I brought it physical PS5. I put it on. I think I earned one trophy, and I was just like, "Can't be bothered." I just, maybe I'll revisit it at some point. Maybe it just wasn't the right time. Um, then we got Far Cry 3, 5, 6, New Dawn. So you're missing four. Uh, is there a reason why you're missing four? Is it more difficult? Is it? Uh, is there too many online trophies? Is the servers shut? I, I, I don't know. Um, but I can see that you've obviously put the time in for the other four games. Uh, you're missing Primal as well, isn't it? Yeah, Primal. Um, but nice. Ugh. Disgusting DLCs, man. 54%. So 46% missing because of the DLC. Absolutely. Disgusting! Anywho. <laughs> um, four closed. No idea what that is, but 55.39%. Nice. Um, Ghosts of Tsushima. Yeah. Not a, not a platinum I've got because the Fox Dens just bored the living hell out of me. Um, but fair play. Uh, God of War. Absolutely amazing game. Other than the Valkyries, it's pretty simple. But even the Valkyries can be made simple because I'm pretty sure that you can just put it on easy. I think, I think, that's, what, um, I think that's what you can do. I know that I died a hell of a lot um, and I dropped it from hard to normal to earn to earn the God of War Platinum. Um, Gravity Rush, nice. That's one you don't see very often. Well, actually, no, tell a lie. I am starting to see that a lot more recently, but still, it's a nice Platinum. It's, I think the game's phenomenal, but it's not for me. Like, it made me feel so bad the way of flipping all upside down and everything, like Christ. Almost gave myself another stroke. Um, <laughs> Forbidden West and Zero Dawn. Nice and nice. Um, got Forbidden West myself. No. Got Zero Dawn myself. 
I started Forbidden West and was just it was too soon so I, I've, I've not gone back to it as of yet sorry my throat is fully going <clears throat> uh, Immortals Phoenix Rising nice you don't see that one too often I feel like a lot more people have started to pick it up just recently not as much as Gravity Rush but still quite a few Infamous Second Son that one will always have a special place to me because it was like my second ever platinum uh, no yes maybe I, it was definitely one of my first five i think it was my second um lake yeah what fair enough um last stop not a scooby-doo what that one is um but it's a high percentage um but fair play uh lego dc supervillains and lego marvel superheroes i've been looking at like i've only ever done two lego games lego movie and lego movie 2 probably uh, lego movie 2 especially probably one of the worst lego games in existence the game was absolute trash but i've been looking at another lego game just recently just something to basically play offline you know not, not even bother recording it just when i'm looking after the kids and stuff something i can just pause and not have to worry about recording and you know stuff like that um maybe maybe i'll pick one of these up um okay 15 hours on that one that, that sounds like my kind of hours um nice on both though life is strange life is strange too before the storm true colors can somebody please in the comments tell me are these like are, are these worth playing because I've all like I'm not judging if if they are the case, but I've always been told, or or at least always been in in the belief that these games are for teenage girls. I I, I just shit myself up in my own fucking OBS. Then S saw something move behind me, but it wasn't. It was my own hand. Christ. Um. But yeah. I've been told that these games are catered for towards teenage girls. I see them on so many people's trophy lists, so I'm going to assume that they aren't. But because of that reason, I've never bothered with them. So can somebody let me know down below? Just so that I can potentially add four more trophies to my list that aren't usually looked down on. Because I'm not cussing them out, you know, loads of people have them. Um, Mafia I've actually been told to do this one uh, recently and I have been looking into it I've heard it's an amazing game I've never even played any of the Mafias um, and I have the trilogy so uh, and you've got the trilogy the all platinums tw uh, Mafia 2 twice as well so nice why why is Mafia 2 PS3 only a 4 out of 10, but Mafia 2, PS4, a 6 out of 10. Online trophies, is it? Server issues? Bugs? Glitches? I, I don't know. But yeah, Mafia 1, Mafia 2 twice, and Mafia 3. Tally ho. Uh, Maneater. Nice. Uh, one that I almost downloaded again uh, earlier today, actually. I was looking for something new to play. Uh, Marvel's Adventure. I mean, fair play. You've got the you've got the platinum. I I know what went into that platinum because I played that game a lot because I experienced some brain rot or something. I don't know because that game is crap. It's trash. But there were some moments where it, it felt nice. I, I guess. Uh, but yeah brilliant brilliant platinum that one only 5.79 and i believe the servers are shut now if i am correct uh marvel's guardians of the galaxy bon appetit uh so fair plan that one spider-man yep yeah, everyone's got it uh spider-man miles morales everyone but me has got it um i'm just waiting for enough time since i platinum spider-man to to do this one i know i can do it just not doing it yet uh, Meet Your Maker, I've seen that one starting to creep into a lot of lists, so nice, 4.07%. Uh, 
Now this is one that I've never seen on anybody's lists. And the reason why I'm going to the reason why I've pointed it out so quickly is because I was looking at this earlier. And now that I can see that it's a 13.13%, .13%, I might take it a bit more seriously and look into it more. I am. I'm going to check that one out some more later. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Nice. 7.62% on that one as well. Fair play. Before I continue, because I've had a couple of people, I wouldn't say argue in the comments, but it's certainly starting to become a bit more... Uh, noticeable over the last few trophy list review videos so I, I will I will always take the piss out of like you know Paw Patrol, Peppa Pig, My Name Is Mouth, basically any trophy list at any platinum that is either shovelware or a child's game just because I do does not mean that I am judging you as an individual this is your trophy list and it will be the same for everybody's list that I ever review. This is your trophy list and what you want to put on that trophy list is completely up to you and nobody else's opinion should really matter. Like I love doing these reviews, I love taking the piss a little bit, I love just having fun and seeing all these games because sometimes I see new games that I've never even heard of before and I'll, I'll then go on to play them in like you know within the next day or two I, I love it but just because i do take the piss I, i'm i'm only i'm only messing kind of thing it's not serious nobody should be giving anybody hate for you know pepper pig my my name is mayo any of that shit even though it is potentially or most most definitely trash in most people's eyes as long as you enjoyed it when you played it or you at least achieved the the goal that you set out to do which you know in in our community is the platinum trophy then to put it bluntly screw everybody else so i, I don't like you know yeah you can you can communicate with, between yourselves in the comments by all means you know i'm i'd I'm hoping to, in the future, build a community of my own. Um, but, you know, keep it civil. If somebody likes these kind of tr platinum trophies, let them like them. If somebody doesn't like them, then that's that's on them as well. I I'm not a fan of them. I've not got any child game um, platinums. You know, I suppose you could, in theory, say Spyro is, but... You know, like, no Peppa Pig's, Paw Patrol's, Cry Baby's Magic Tears. I only know that one because of my son. Um, but, yeah, so just, just keep it civil. You know, like what you like. Platinum what you want to platinum. But I am going to continue to take the pee. Um, but it's not personal. So just, just going to have to put that one out there while it's in my mind. Um, <clears throat> so stop making me talk. My voice is killing. Okay, so Naruto Shippuden ultimate ninja storm free and then the same title but full burst and then four storm generations storm revolution storm connections further down here ultimate nin mate what are the like are all these different games i'm guessing them two are, are the same but like maybe just extra content or something None of them are auto pops from what I can see. Every single one of them. 200. 200 hours on one point. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. I had to do that one, my throat. Um, okay, so let's start from the top. That one, banger. That one, awesome. That one, amazing. Uh. I don't like to be honest I've never played any of these but I can see it's dedication Naruto I'm guessing an anime fan um but this one here 1.26 percent 200 hours Naruto to Baruto Shinobi Striker as a platinum don't know the game might be shit for all I know but to get that platinum that low percentage 
that many hours. Fair hecking play. Okay, near automata. Oh, chef's kiss. Now that's for the game and the platinum. Brilliant game, absolutely amazing game. Uh, nobody saves the world. Nice. 19.85%. I don't. I don't see that very often. Uh, one Piece Pirate Warriors. 10.29% on that one in 65 hours. Fair play. And then Pirate Warriors 4. I'm guessing they saw the success from number three, decided to replicate it, but make it easier for just for a quick cast grab. Just a speculation. Uh, one Punch Man, a hero nobody knows. Nice. I'm definitely convinced that you are an anime fan now. Tell me some good animes because I need to start getting back into them. I haven't watched any for months. Uh, Persona 5 Strikers. Nice. Phantom Breaker Omnia. Never heard of that. Quite a high percentage. D quite a high DLC percentage as well. Um, 2 out of 10, 10 hours. Sounds like my kind of game. Uh, Rogue Company, twice. One of them being an auto pop. A little bit disappointing. But. Not judging. Uh, but 7.15% on that one. I I remember when Rogue Company first came out. I absolutely like was shit hot at it. Like no word of lie. Every match I went into, I was finishing top of the leaderboard, and uh, I stopped playing because like I just got bored. Like there was no ch like I'm not I'm like not to sound big headed, but there was no challenge. So I just got bored of it. And then of course now that I've started collecting platinum trophies myself, I looked at it and I was like, oh. I need to play so many hours or so many games with a party and it's like what am i doing why did i just click on that um uh i'm losing my mind uh roller dome 10.99 percent nice saints row the absolute abomination that that was 10.62 percent yeah because no one liked it that's why no one played that one uh saints row the third yeah chef's kiss absolutely brilliant game that that's the kind of saints row that any everyone should play not this monstrosity uh scarlet nexus next nice surprised it's that high actually only a two out of ten strange uh shadow warrior three nice um surprise pretty sure there's a guide for it i know it's considered a, a relatively easy game to platinum um but it's one that I've got on the shelf behind me. Still in the cellophane. I, um, I've i played one. I've not played two, but I picked up three for like... I think I played two pound for it or something like that on a car, car boot sale. Um, but it's still in the cellophane. So, yep. Uh, Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. Nice. Uh, looks like two, two DLC trophies missing. But I don't blame you. The DLC... The one DLC was okay. The other DLC, I believe, was terrible, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, both SpongeBob games, nice. Two that I plan to add to my collection myself at some point. Just haven't got round to them. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, nice. Stray, beautiful game. Um, sh shameless plug. I've got one a video of that on the channel. Uh, Subnautica. You don't I'm don't I'm not seeing that too often. But nice. Tales of Iron. That's one that I see on almost everybody's list. And that's a six out of ten. So fair play to you all. Because I haven't got it. Off. No. Uh Tekken 7. Nice. I know it's uh, considered a pretty simple platinum, but still, you've got to, you've gotta be in it to win it. The Artful Escape, never played it myself, but I've heard that it's a fantastic game and the art style is beautiful. Uh, the Ascent doesn't get an, doesn't get enough love. Like I, I think I thought that game was absolutely fucking amazing, um, and you don't see it on many lists. Um, but nice, quite a low percentage. Pretty sure when I platinum that it was even lower. Uh, so more people have done it recently stop it can can you all just play the game for like 20 minutes or so earn a trophy just so that it comes back down that was one of my lowest trophies um <laughs> the Callisto protocol nice 
Uh, I actually looked into this earlier because all I'm missing is like free trophies. Um, but I just I don't know if I can be bothered to do a whole nother playthrough. Uh, but fair play. I'm surprised that it's so hot. Actually, why is that so high? Isn't the game like a piece of piss? Uh, the gardens in the gardens between nice i can see another disgustingly low uh, percentage uh, the last of us 2 nice 26.22 so just over one in four tinykin just over one in f two christ that's so high that is that it is one i've looked at to be honest but i just haven't bothered with it uh, uncharted a thief's end and the lost legacy fair play why is there no why does that just stop there does it stop only at 100 or something why have i got why is there a white why okay uh unpacking yeah every man and the dog that can be bothered to sit through that has got it but fair play uh virginia not a clue first time i've ever heard or seen that um but you got it fair play uh watchdogs one and two nice um especially watchdogs one quite a low percentage on that one and then i think this is your second lowest platinum percentage out of all of them uh, and i know that this one takes some dedication as all wwe uh, games do but wwe 2k 22 2.49 percent very nice very nice okay so let's as always let's go up to the milestones so we have the journey begins god of war is your first trophy perfect storm master uh naruto shippuden ultimate ninja storm 4 is your first platinum nice and 10th platinum demon slayer kimetsu no yaiba I know I said I wouldn't attempt that earlier, but it just rolled off the tongue. Uh, the fastest platinum was Rogue Company. That was the auto pop, the zero seconds. 20th platinum was Bloodborne. Nice. 30th platinum, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Why not? Stray as your 40th platinum. Hill Year. Saints Row the third as your 50th. Uh, Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm whatever the ge generations was it uh 75th platinum uh battlefield 5 as your 100th platinum and dave the diver as your latest platinum all in all absolutely amazing list mate um looks like you are similar to me in the sense that you play a shit ton of games um and you will only platinum the ones that really tickle the pickle um so not judging i've got a ghost in my house um but yeah amazing list pal um i apologize wholeheartedly if i um if this video just didn't come across as as well as others throat's been killing me I kept losing focus i need to sleep to kind of be more on the mend um but if you if it was fine and if you want to have your re list reviewed yourself in the future i don't know why i was staring at the screen while i was talking then if you want to have your list reviewed in the future just leave your psn name down in the comments below and you'll be added to the list the list that has grown significantly so please be patient i am going to get around to every single one of you um and i have already started to speed these up but there is a chance that you will have to wait maybe a month maybe even two um but yeah thank you very much for watching i'm going to take some strep and lemp sips peace